Hello everyone! In this video we will be looking at a program named Uwifi. So this one is for all of you weebs out there. <laughs> anyway, now let's head over to its github page and find out how we can use it. There we immediately notice that it is written in Rust, which is pretty cool thing because it has high chance of performing well. To install it, we scroll down to the install CLI section. There, as you can see, the UEFI uses cargo for installation. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry, it is just the package manager for Rust. So that is all nice, but we first need to make sure that we have Rust installed on our computer. To check it out, we can open up our terminal, then type rustc dash dash version. And once we executed that, there we go. However, if you don't have it installed, you can head over to the install page of the Rust, which you can find its link in the description down below. As for the Windows, you can download the Rust app and install via that, which is pretty straightforward. Now let's install UVFI. To do it, cargo install UVFI. And once that's done, we are basically ready to go. But we still need to find out how we can use it. So to learn it, we type UVFI dash dash help and it brings out the basic usage. There, as you can see, we need to supply it a file, which contains our text. Then it will verify it and show us the result. But that said, we can also give it the output file as well. And by doing that, it will save the result in a file, which is pretty nice thing, but I won't be using it in this case. All right then, now we need a text file and I have already prepared one. It is here and it contains famous quotes from famous people such as Theodore Roosevelt, Henry Ford and so on. You get the idea. Now we come to the fun part. Turning these quotes into some anime stuff. So let's head over to our terminal and type wifi, then give our text file. There we have it. Now our quotes are wifi <laughs> Like, Maybe you come and you have halfway there. Dev. Uh, it sounds absolutely ridiculous and I don't even bother reading anymore. <laughs> it even includes faces which makes it even more hilarious. Also at that point I really don't know the exact use case of this program. Maybe, only maybe it can be used in a games or something else, but to be honest, who cares, it is great as it is. So anyway, there we have it, this is the basic usage of the UEFI program. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Take care.